Here's the three run from Osik. Gets the sign he likes. It's hit towards short. Weingartner, nice play to snag it. He will go to first, but the throw is offline. Raba comes in to score. Diaz at third, Keller at second. Right up the hole, and that's going to get through for a base hit. One's going to come in. That's Diaz. Keller's going to hustle around. He will score. The throw is cut off, and it is 3-0 midshipmen in the first inning. Into third. It ended up not being deep enough. Off goes Leonard's. That is to right field. Piccolo, did he make that catch? No, he trapped it. He trapped it. That will be a base hit, and another run will score. There are three runs on four hits with two errors for St. Joe's. This is slammed down the left field line. Bounces over Petrus's glove. That's a base hit. Rabba was already off and running. He is going to be held at third. Into second goes Diaz. That is the first extra base hit for anyone today of the 13 hits. She wouldn't know it today if you're just looking at the box score as Gale goes down on three pitches. Vertudez has three strikeouts in the first time today. It's one, two, three inning. He's alternated two hit games with no hit games the last handful. And he's going to flare this one over the head of Max Hitman. He didn't quite have the beat on it he wanted. It drops in for another base hit. McCommons comes in to score. It's 9-3. to three. And there will be better days for him than this. There'll be better days for the Hawks than this, but that is a rope base hit to center field. That's another run going to score. Make that 13 to 3 and now 14 to 3. A two RBI single for Victor Izquierdo in game one of that doubleheader. And that is smoked down the left field line. Another base hit. That's five. He's going to have two extra base hits now. They're going to hold Raba at third. Again, placed perfectly, just roped it right down that third base left field line as he did in the fourth. One and one. Flared towards Hitman. He's going to have to try to get it, but he can't. Another run's going to score. It's 16 to 4, and I'll make it 17 to 4. That's two RBI flared single over the head of Max Hitman. It's the only time they didn't score in an inning. A chopper towards short. Garngarten with a nice backhanded play. He's going to throw it to Petrich because he had no other play. Another infield hit. Six for six for Eduardo Diaz. A truly remarkable day at the office of the season. They're going to get that to 1-0. However, that's a nice diving play from Diaz. The flip to second is in time. Diaz is having a great game, getting a hug from his second baseman, Evan Brown, and there's a reason why. He's been shorthanded with the glove. That's a nice play, diving to his left. Soft flip over to second to end the inning. And to end the game, it has been run ruled 17-7. Navy beats St. Joe's in the first meeting between these teams. It was not an easy day for the Hawks.